What's happening, La Familia? We back in this thing with another one, man. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, and turn post notifications on to all. And for today's topic, La Familia, we got the man formerly known as Big Draws, you know, that man Big U, coming by way of Crenshaw and Slauson out in Los Angeles, California, as he had a response to another big homie coming by way of Los Angeles, California, but on the other side of the flag, the man known as WAC 100, internet personality, a man that stays going super viral, and also the game, Blueface, and multiple other artists manager. As you know, this man, Big U, comes out and lets it be known that WAC 100 is once again capping and do not believe anything that that man has to say on this here internet. So before we get into this, like I said, hit the like button, show your brother some love, and without further ado, let's get to it. Big U says, I have never been in LAX airport with WAC 100, nor did we run down on hashtag future. Fact. I wish y'all would get it in y'all head. These people lie all day. 10% truth, 90% them. I hate how no matter what someone say about hashtag Big U, it's just true. When is the hate going to stop? I made one mistake that was building with a blank. And for that, B's and C's, I'm sorry, at Big U. So as y'all can see, man, Big U is letting me know that the situation that WAC 100 is claiming that had happened to Future due to, you know, him and Big U is all cap, according to Big U's words. He's saying that 90% of this stuff that these people put out is cap. And in my personal opinion, He's also addressing the situation that happened with Charleston White. Charleston White put out a video as well, and it's on the channel too, man. Y'all can go check that one out. It says Charleston White tells his truth about Nipsey Hussle. That's somewhere along the lines of what the caption is. Y'all go check that one out. But I believe he responded to that one as well. Killing two birds with one stone and let it be known. Everything these industry people put out is capped. And the only thing I'm guilty of is ever messing with this dude in the first place. Or, you know, messing with any of these dudes. Because at the end of the day, they internet personalities. They the jakes. And uh, they ain't standing on nothing solid, man. So, as y'all can see, man, that man just killed that whole scenario. And said he never did nothing like that with Future. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he got a lot of respect for Future. Future coming out of Atlanta. And Future is tied in with a lot of the lokes coming out by that way. So, I'm sure they got a relationship somewhere within the industry. Somewhere somewhere but that wasn't it coming by way of big u as big u also put out this story man from back in the day when he was a young homie and his older homie told him he had to come squabble up over an issue he was fearful over it but he still addressed the issue head first like he was supposed to tucked his you know tucked everything that he felt inside as far as fear and stood 10 toes to get across the message about being fearful and how you just gotta attack issues but throughout the course of this live man there is one thing i gotta address i'm gonna go ahead and play it and when it gets to that part, I will address that issue. Got one for you. Shalom to the world. Top of the afternoon. It's afternoon in a lot of different places. Now I'm chop it up with y'all for a minute, man. I, got, I was just talking to one of my partners, right? And we were discussing the word uh, fear, right? Um, so fear. Fear is a word that's void of love. When you talk about Fear, fear is the opposite of hard work. You know what I mean? Fear, fear is not believing in yourself. Because there's so many different ways to to to, to fear. Because if you fear, you fear, you fear success. You fear the, the the chance and opportunity to make it in this world. You know what I mean? There's different ways to const you know to deal with that. We was talking about um, people being scared, and I'm like, 
Well, everybody and everything in the world, you're going to deal with some amount of fear. But it's how you approach it, how you deal with it, how you address it, how you stand up to it. Me, myself, I remember an incident that changed my life a long time ago. It was one of, with one of my big homies. We got into it. And uh, I was real young. And this, actually, I love this. Love, he my big homie. I love him to death to this day. But he taught me a lesson. But in that lesson, it was fear. You know, he was like, we got into it over some silly. And he basically was like, uh, you know, we, I got to see you. And I'm like, okay, well, you're going to see me when I get to the hood. You know, he's like, man, you want to? Yeah, I'm going to the hood. You know what I mean? But it can't be that. Scared to die, they're scared to move, scared to fight, scared to do whatever it takes. You know, that's gonna shut you down. Ain't no shutting down. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no way to compromise. No other way but direct, exact, and and, 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 and never never quavering. But then, you know, there's there there there's nothing wrong with addressing something without being cocky. You know what I mean? So I don't mean cocky. I mean that after I deal with the fear mentally of a failure in my head and then, you know, I put that down in that box and I stand on it. Now I got to pump myself up and, and, and really go address what I got to go address. It's fear, in, it's, it's fear in investment. You know, if you're trying to start a new venture and you got to invest money in it, you know, there's a great amount of fear in that. Because... You got to pay bills. You know, you got $25,000 a month bills. You know what I mean? So if you're trying to invest another fifty to to 100000 into another venue, venture, you know, you're thinking like, how many months am I ahead in this one? Because you, 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 you do the math in your head. But then you got to take that chance, though. You got to take that chance, though. In the same time, you know, I wake up in the morning every day. I go, I, every day I get up in the morning and... There, there's a, a, a amount of fear of approaching the streets, going on the streets. You get on the plane, you leave LA, and you come back to LA. There's a healthy amount of fear. Every time I get off the plane coming back to LA, I know I gotta put the armor on, gotta think a certain way, gotta dress things a certain way. You know what I mean? But you get up and you deal with it. You know what I mean? And and you, you, you go from there Y'all hear him say, man, every time he get off the plane going back to L.A., he fear L.A. Man, that's crazy, man, that our people are so jealous of us and they envy us so much. They want to take us out so badly that, you know, a man can't even be comfortable, not only around his own people, but in the hood that he grew up in, in the city that he grew up in. It's sad, man. And you go from there and you 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 build from that. You know what I mean? And once you build, you, you your thought changes and you become exceptional in the way you move. But you can't let it consume you though. You can't let it eat you up. You can't let it become a part of you. I, I mean, I invest money all the time, all the time. You know what I mean? And I take losses. I take I take losses. I win, and I take it take it how I come you know what I mean I take it all every single day of my life I could be winning at one thing but then you know I want to go win and get at something else I want to go build in a whole nother you know what I'm saying in a whole nother genre you know what I mean getting into something different shoot I'm writing like a right now you know I never thought I was right I can't spell ant but I can create stories though. You know what I mean? I I figured it out, man. You know what I mean? I, I, uh, um, I'm just building on something right now. Now I'm being hired to EP on a bunch of different projects and shows, and, you know. And then another thing too, man. We in a we in a different era right now. We in a we in a different era for black women. You know. Uh, uh, I don't like to coin strong black women. I don't like that. I like women. You know, they use women because uh, uh, I think they separate us. I was listening to the little sister the other day and she made a poignant point uh, about that. But I think uh, I like the way 
and the way the atmosphere is for us, our, our sisters, our ladies, are, are are being being able to jump in a lot of different areas and and and, and grow. You know, um, we gotta just really get to where we gotta get to, and sometimes we gotta follow these sisters. We we in that point right now. Well, the same way the sisters leading the households and our mamas, because my mother led my household and she did a damn, damn good job. If it weren't for my knucklehead, my mother would be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> my mother would be, if it weren't for her, you know, her oldest son, my aunts, my aunts would be perfect with her kids. See, that's what I wanted to speak on. That's what I was talking about before I got into this, man. Because right there, man, that's where we disagree. I was feeling you all the way up until that point. But at no point are we supposed to follow the lead of a woman. Yeah, your mama might have did a perfect job to you because you've seen her make a way out of nothing. But that don't mean she did a perfect job. You know what I'm saying? You still ended up in the streets, you know, joining the game, man. And that's the, that's the reason why, you know, a man is needed because a man is the last line of defense. See, if that man had been there, you probably would have knew how to spell ant. But see, your mama, she just going to make an excuse for it. She going to say something along the lines of, oh, my baby dyslexic. He got a learning disability. She going to make an excuse versus your father. He would have said something like, boy, you better go take care of that. You know what I'm saying? He would have pushed you. He would have made sure that you made it to the point to be able to spell that word. See, a father would take it to the point where you're willing to hate him. But just for him to get that return, which is, you know, you being a fully functioning productive man a fully functioning human being part of life whether male or female but yeah man it's equally needed though you need that feminine side because honestly you know mother is the first line of defense she's the one that usually receives the issue first and the father you know is the last one that's going hey look this is what we going to do you know what i'm saying mama is equally needed because you need that nurturing side you need to know how to love you need to know how to release your emotions and you know, things like that. So it's both equally important, but at no point do you follow a woman's lead. She's not meant to lead. Her direction is not meant to be the place that a male goes. A male is supposed to be the one born with a sense of direction. You see, that's the problem, man. It's like too many of these older gentlemen not giving a game to these young men properly. They just going based off of, they winging it. That's it, they winging it. I couldn't get down with this one, Big U, so I had to go ahead and touch on that right quick. But I'm just saying, man, no knock on the ladies. Y'all are amazing. And what y'all bring to the table is absolutely vital for the progression of the household, man. It is vital. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's vital. You know, we can't do this without each other, man, when it comes to raising children. The thing is, man, without a mother in the household, what you raise is some overly disciplined kids who are void of their emotions, don't know how to love don't know how to show love, don't know how to, you know, release their emotions, don't know how to do anything as far as like human interaction. They're overly disciplined. They have a prison mentality. They're institutionalized, man, because institutions are usually a place where you learn a lot of discipline. So an institutionalized mentality is someone who is overly structured to the point where their life is set up in a small contained confinement of a box and all they know how to do is the same things over and over again. Institutionalized doesn't necessarily mean prison. It just means that, you know, you're boxed in, you're caged in. You can institutionalize yourself out in the free world by just having a confined mindset, a confined structure to your life and the way you do things, man. And that's never a good thing, man. It's never a good thing. Got to get out and enjoy the experiences that the Most High has left behind for us. You feel me? I feel like a lot of people have institutionalized and disciplined misunderstood because of the similarities you know how close they are in definition but see discipline is a lot less intense see when you have discipline you have the right amount of structure you're not overly structured you're not overly confined to a practice you understand i cannot be locked away from the world and live this habitual ritualistic life where i do the same things every single day you know, just a true creature of happy. No, you can't live your life like that. There's no happiness in that. But overall, my point is, you need a perfect balance of femininity and masculinity. That is the only way to bring proper structure to a child. A man has to take his rightful position of lead 
a woman has to take her rightful position to follow as well as take her natural position to be the backbone. She has to be the one to mend everyone's emotions, bring everyone together. That is the only way to keep this boat afloat. See the children, like I told y'all, a male will push the children towards hatred from overly disciplining them, from overly structuring. And see, she has to be the one to allow the kids to know your father is doing this in you guys' best interest because naturally, out of her loving, nurturing nature, naturally, they are going to favor her more due to that natural nurturing and loving ability. They trust in her word. They respect the father's word, but they trust in her word for their loving nature. This is the role of the household for a reason. This is what keeps the household intact. Anywhere that you deter away from the natural order, all that's going to do is create catastrophic consequences for the household. Stay to the natural order. It's the only way to keep that balance, man. But now I just want—I just—I just was chopping up one, one, one of my youngsters. We just was at the weight pile, and uh, oh, I want to say this too: Grease ain't been working out. Five ain't worked out. Um, let me see. Five ain't worked out. Grease ain't worked out. Who else was on that video talking about me not working out? Martavius didn't work out. Um, oh, Sonny didn't work out. So it's a couple of people who missed his workouts. Fear. Fear. That's what it is. Fear. <laughs> Fear. That's what it is. Fear. Now they probably should be fearing that workout. You know what I mean? Because we did orbs today. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> got up in that joint. But no, I'm for the sign off. I just got on to say that, man. Um, um Yes. Vay didn't come. Vay ain't showing up. Vay ain't showed up in a long time. Yeah, Viking 7 and 1. Yeah, the Viking 7 and 1. You know what I mean? Shouts out to the Viking Nation. Skull, skull. But I'm about to get off. Uh, I just wanted to really just talk about that word fear, man. I was talking to my partner, man, and uh, we gotta look up. We gotta get up in the morning. Every every day you get up, you gotta get up in the morning expecting something. I get up in the morning expecting a challenge every single morning, every single day. I get up, praise to Allah, subhanahu to Allah and move on, you know what I mean? And get to it, you know? You know what I mean? It, 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 and once you, once you pray, it's about getting on, getting to work. Pray and get to work. Steve, you know the Vikings, man. <laughs> you know the Vikings, man. Lobel, 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 you really a like you really a Viking fan. Oh, and look, before I get up, look, I just want to let y'all know we play the Cowboys in a couple of weeks. We play the Cowboys in a couple of weeks. Any of you Cowboy fans want to smoke? Any of you Cowboy fans want to smoke? Sign up for it. It's your boy. It's your boy. I got that smoke for you. I'm about to get off though, man. About to go in and get me some to eat. Cause I got that second workout tonight. Yeah, I'm going for that second workout tonight. Y'all stay blessed, man. Stay on top of fear.